Davison, in that fourth inning after that Fletcher bloop down the right field line, can you just take us through the Otani at bat and uh, also after Otani, the uh, Walsh at bat as well? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, facing Otani there with a the runner on, uh, honestly being extremely careful, didn't want to give in and, and make a mistake over the heart of the plate that could change change the game there in that situation. So uh, I was taking it kind of one pitch at a time, just trying to be careful. Um, I was really actually quite fine with the walk. Um, you know, I wish the last pitch was a little closer, but, you know, to a guy like that, you kind of just take the walk and move on. Um, to Walsh, I had him in a good count. Uh, I threw a good curveball to pitch before that I was hoping to get a swing and miss on. He tipped it, uh, then I threw another curveball back to back there when I probably had an opportunity to take a shot at a fastball up, which I had gotten a swing and miss on uh, earlier in the at bat. So that's one of the couple of pitches that I'm really going to kick myself over uh, over tonight. Uh, in the fifth, Rizzo made that uh, really great play over at first base to save the two runs, and then the the pitch to Gosselin. What, what happened in that at bat too? Yeah, yeah, kind of a wonky start to that inning. Uh, made a couple of decent pitches. They got runners on, and then we we're tiptoeing our way around the inning. We we're really close to being out of it. Uh, made a good play on the left side of the infield. Good play by Rizzo. Uh, we got Gosselin to two strikes really quickly. Uh, and it was just a fastball. You know, after he put together a good at bat, fouled off a couple of good curveballs that I executed pretty well. Uh, it's just a fastball that, that leaked over the heart of the plate that he was able to shoot up the middle. So uh, we were tiptoeing there. We were close. Um, just wasn't able to make the two strike, two out pitch. This has been a tremendous season for you coming back from your second Tommy John surgery. This is the most starts you've made since 2018. Just how are you feeling at this point in the season? Yeah, yeah, I feel really good. Uh, the body's the body's holding up. And, you know, that's part of what makes these starts like tonight kind of frustrating just because the body, the delivery, the arm, everything feels so, so good. Um, it'd almost be easier to say like, ah, I don't feel so good. I'm getting tired or, you know, I thought my stuff was terrible, but the body feels great. Um, you know, I feel like, like I'm right there in it. Um, you know, on the elbows, just not even a concern at this point, which is nice. Thanks, Jameson. Can you go next to Matthew Robertson? Hey, Jameson, how do you guys in the clubhouse handle the emotions of going from a 13-game winning streak to now a four-game losing streak? I know a lot of you are going to say, you know, take it game by game. We're not focused on that, but it's got to be pretty mentally and emotionally exhausting. Yeah, I mean, we've had to bounce back from a lot this year, so um, I can tell you winning is a lot more fun than losing. The vibe in the clubhouse is a lot more fun after we win, so, um, you know, no one's excited, but at the same time, we have an opportunity to come out here and at least salvage a game with Garrett on the mound tomorrow uh, before we head back to New York. So that's kind of all we can think about right now.